Uh, Dynamic Fuels started up the plant in uh, October 2010. The plant was up and down uh, several times as they made technology up upgrades and improvements. And the plant was shut down in uh, October of 2012. The plant was purchased by REG in 2014. And, and we made some additional improvements at that time before starting the plant up. Unfortunately, we had a fire in April of 2015. And later in 2015, we had an additional fire. So we restarted the plant in March of 2016 and have continued to make improvements to the plant ever since. We have put in significant capital in infrastructure, in tankage, in pretreat in order to make this plant run what it was intended to do, which is a 75 million gallon renewable hydrocarbon diesel plant. I'm very proud to say that since October, this plant has run at or over 100% capacity, which will put us at seven and maybe even eight months, which is an all-time record for this plant. For this plant to be doing as great as it's been, it means so much to us. This maintenance group has worked hard for years and worked through the changes and worked through the rebuilds. The plant's been running well with continuous improvements in reliability, product quality, and product yields, which all go hand in hand with safety performance, environmental, and health. We've learned that the, the process and the technology is very robust, which gives us a lot of confidence as we go in the future, that as we expand here or other places, that confidence is awesome because we know it can do what we want it to do. What we're looking at currently is uh, expansion of a, a, a more than 50%, and uh, that's going to mean all three products that we produce. And the, the plant has, uh, uh, we'll have to do some capital upgrades to the plant to do that, pretty much throughout the plant. We've signed an asset purchase agreement for many parcels of land here in REG Geisimer. We are buying out the land that we currently lease that the plant sets on, 13 acres or more to the east, some land on the, on the river to give us the ability to put in deep water dolphins in the future, land to help us expand our rail, and this site could be one that does very well in the future if we decide to expand here. And buying that land makes it all possible. Our process here is, is that we designed it to optimize diesel production, and we feel that ours is the, uh, the best approach from the standpoint of uh, retaining as many of the molecules as possible in the RHD boiling regime. This site has nearly everything. It has the hydrogen we need, it has the infrastructure. We're going to be able to, with the land purchases, either go deep water so we can ship, you know, all across the world. Not far from here is the Bengal pipeline, and that pipeline goes into the Colonial, which runs all the way from here to New York. These are all things that as REG looks into the future, and the market wants renewable hydrocarbon diesel, that this site is going to be awesome for those capabilities. With what we have today, the, our logistical capabilities at Geismar uh, work well. Now with the land acquisitions, it will provide us or give us the opportunity to hit those domestic markets, tap into the global markets and an even greater efficiency than we currently have today. The recent successes that we've had in, the, um, in this continuous improvement has really been a, a great team effort from the Geismer team, the, the several different organizations in Ames, and in my group. I think this has really been a very good example of, of you know, different groups in the company working together under solid leadership.